Hello everyone, Eric Carter here, and boy, I haven't done these vlogs in quite some time now, haven't I? Yeah, like I say, I've been very, very busy, and normally I tend to do vlogs when something interesting is happening or something. And as you can tell from the title, right over here, hopefully, I'm actually going to be seeing uh, Paranormal Activity, the marked ones. Now, I am not, I'm not particularly into those, uh, move, that, those Paranormal Activity movies, but we'll talk more into those later. But anyway, yeah, um... Something I I'm, hope you guys notice, notice and, can, and appreciate is that I've actually taken a lot more time to upload videos a lot more regularly. I think in the past week I've uploaded about four videos. So, yeah, apart from this vlog, I'm going to upload another one soon. And I'm trying to get them uploaded much faster, because normally I tend to get a phone, then about two weeks later, or within two weeks I'll do one or maybe two coverage videos, and then uh, later on you'll actually start noticing the uh, videos start coming up, start to come around around about the time I do the review of the handset, which is about two weeks later. That's about how long I have to keep these review units, and then I tend to upload the videos. Now, I think I'm leaving a bit too late. Even though that's how I get my for my full opinion on these smartphones, I think I do leave them a bit too late, the videos I actually give them to you guys. So I'm going to start doing them earlier. So the iPhone 5S, I've given you a couple of videos already, and I'm going to, when the weather gets better, I'm going to start... Uh, doing some HD video capture tests and some outdoor and indoor uh, uh, camera shot tests. And so far I am quite impressed with the iPhone 5S, even though I think Apple could have done much more because it does seem like it's a very, very incremental upgrades. That's why you've always called the iPhone S phones the iPhone filler, because they are essentially just filler until the iPhone 6 and 7 or, you know, the next full number upgrade comes out. Oh, so, uh, yeah, back on to Paranormal Activity The Marked Ones. You might be wondering, how am I going to be able to see that, especially considering the movie's out on January the 1st? The advanced preview tickets, I've got a couple of those, so uh, me and my dad are going to go. And the thing is, I'm not really into the Paranormal Activity movies uh, at all, really. I always tend to think that they're really quite cheap, which they are, that is that was supposed to be the sort of like attractive thing about it, is that, that it is cheap, yet it's got some good scares. That's... Uh, basically the attraction towards it, what people like about it, but thing is with me, the ending just always makes you feel like, what did I just watch? So, yeah, there's that, but at the same time, I'm gonna go see it, since it's free, and it's 11.30, by the way, as well, at night, you know, the preview's gonna be, so yeah, I'm gonna <clears throat> see it with my dad, hopefully we'll both be able to stay awake through it, because I've never seen a movie that late before, <laughs> never, but it's a free preview, and the movie's not gonna be out until about another two, two and a half weeks, so... You know, I've got nothing to really complain about, except for the time of the preview, mainly. <clears throat> but yeah, me personally, I'm not into those kind of movies, and to tell you the truth, I, me and my dad always just poke fun at it when it comes out on DVD. But uh, yeah, overall, um, something I'm looking forward to, because I haven't been in the cinema with my dad for quite some time, and excuse me, open my eyes out wide, I'm being overdramatic right here. But uh, yeah, me, I, I've been out and about a lot, and uh, if, I, if, I wanna, if I ever want to get a bite to eat outside and stuff, Normally my dad used to do that with me, and you know, we spent a lot of father son time back in the t back in the time when I was younger. But now that I'm actually able to go out on my own, I tend to do all this on my on, by myself. Quite recently, we also got a Sony soundbar to make uh, what we watch on TV sound better. And here, I'll give you a quick view of it. It's quite dark around here, but let's see if you can see it. Right over here, you can see it's quite dark, but it's behind our TV. You can see I'm pointing at it. Yeah, it's right around there, and uh, this is about, I think it's a generation or two old, I'm pretty certain it's one generation old, and this is the um, model number and name escapes me for a moment. Let's go to the box. Here's the box. Uh, as you can see, Sony Make Believe, and let's zoom into that right there, HTCT60, that's the model number, and this is a very, very good sound bar, as you can see, it's also got a subwoofer, which I think I forgot to show you in the actual, um, you know, behind the TV. But yeah, thing is, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do, if we're going to keep this or not, because the thing is, when we bought this, I think it's to do with Black Friday or something, and I think we got from John Lewis or somewhere, I can't remember, but um, my dad actually picked this up just recently, and the attract what we, we were actually attracted by was that the fact that they said you can use it for three months, if for any reason you do are not satisfied with it, you can return it, so uh, we got it for three months, and yeah, so far what I watched with it, amazing, it is like, see over here where it says Home Cinema, that's literally what the effect is. It gives you like a home cinema effect sound. So normally when you get all those kind of like vibrations, when there's the music goes like very loud, it goes dun. It's like you always tend to feel it right in your. Let me just turn this around. Yeah, you tend to always feel it right in your chest when you always hear like the bangs go on in the cinema. Yeah, that's exactly what you're getting right here with um, uh, this um, uh, soundbar. So yeah, the soundbar. I'm really really liking it, and I do hope you can keep it. It was a hundred pounds, but 
tell you the truth, it does make a lot of noise, though. So like, my mum and dad actually do think it's good, but they say for a long, when you listen to it for a long time, it does give you a bit of a head in. It gives you a, you know, a headache. It gives you a bit. The thing is, it doesn't give me a headache because I tend to listen to earphones very, very loud, but if, the, if it gives them a headache, I totally understand because it's not for everyone. Some people, you know, us youth compared to our parents, they're not, the sound, the sound is not going to be as pleasing to them, or well, it's going to be more a headache to them, so I can totally understand if they wouldn't uh, like it, but uh, three months, you know, I'm going to be perfectly happy with testing it like that. And pretty much all the intricate movies, it, it works on perfectly well. For example, I've tried The Dark Knight Rises with it, and literally even all the bits that have like lots and lots of bass, uh, lots and lots of bass, and like a lot of, like as I said in the cinema, you always get that third when you hear that sort of noise going on, it does that as well. So the subwoofer is great. The funny thing is we actually did turn the subwoofer off, and just have the sound come up from the soundbar, then it sounded so flat, and we were like, okay, you know what, it sounds very flat, even compared to the speakers on our Samsung TV. So, yeah, we, uh, for, then we were like, put the subwoofer back on, then we were like, yeah, that sounds much better. So, yeah, well, the subwoofer makes a big difference. And thing is, I was actually, we were actually wondering where to place it. Thing is, if you put it on the front, it's like, it looks a bit, ug quite a bit ugly, and also, it gets in the way of the sort of like IR receiver on the TV, so that means that we have to really raise our hands if we want to get uh, our TV to pick up the your signal when we actually use the remote control. So we had to move it to the back of the TV and then it's like the sound wasn't exactly coming out, it was more like it's hitting the back of the TV, the sound from the soundbar. But with some repositioning, the sound comes through the bottom of the TV where the, there's that gap, and then it comes towards us. So I might have explained that by the way, something is something you have to really have to see or understand our setup in order to get what I'm saying, but that's how it is really. Okay, I'm sitting down now, and I've got my lamp over there. Lights up this little area where I am right here. And, uh, yeah, so, what have I been doing today? Well, I've been working very, very hard on trying to get my Injustice Gods Among Us for the PS Vita review uh, ready. Uh, basically, the script is all completely done, and it's taken me some time to actually write the script, and, yeah, I'm very happy with it, and now all I need to do is uh, speak my script out. And then I have to record the gameplay, which for portable console reviews, recording the gameplay is actually the most frustrating because you have to sort of like show that you're actually good at playing the game, but at the same time you have to use the viewfinder, which I'm looking at right over here, of the camera. You need to look through the viewfinder of the camera to know you've got, you're got you picking everything up and you're recording everything uh, you know, right. Concentrating on the gameplay then concentrating on your recording setup is not an easy thing to juggle both together, so... Yeah, it's a lot of work to do, and also I've been trying to record the script, but let's just say... When you're in a house filled with lots of people, it's not very easy to actually, you know, get a, have a quiet sort of uh, scenario to actually record in. So I'm going to have to think about recording the script tomorrow, and I'm also going to use this camcorder whenever I can, really, to actually start recording some gameplay. That's one of the things you can say I look the least forward to doing, is actually recording the gameplay for the reviews, because, really, it's going to be very hard to not suck on camcorder. And then if, if I do sh record video gameplay of me being very, very bad, then people are going to definitely let me know about it in the comments. So, I'm going to sort of sign off right now, and what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to watch Paranormal Activity, the marked ones, uh, in a few hours. And th then what I'm going to have to actually do is uh, come back and let you guys know briefly what I thought of the movie, as I think I'm one of the first few to actually go see it. And... If I come back and say that I have not seen the movie, that's because it's too late and me and my dad are both tired. So, yeah. Thing is, the movie is also about an hour and 20 minutes. To tell you the truth, I think I'd feel ripped off if I actually went and actually paid to see that movie. And also, I think I've heard they're going to do another one next year as well, Paranormal Activity 5. So, there's a spin-off and then there's the actual sequel. Uh, so, definitely they're trying to milk as much money as they can from these series of movies. But anyway, I'll see you a little later and I'll let you know if I see the movie or not. Okay, so it's about 10.50 at night, and I didn't go to see Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones. Uh, um, uh, my dad's been very busy, and he's been driving around quite a lot today, and he's uh, very, very tired. And me, I'm not too tired, but then again, I did sleep in a bit today because I, I had a long day of work yesterday. And yeah, I've got a lot of work done today, but I'm going to be doing more of a relaxing time at this point. I've just read my... Little brother, about half an hour to an hour ago, I read him uh, a chapter to Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I've read those books, like, long time ago. Well, I started when I was nine, and I finished them all off well before the final movies came out. <clears throat> I think it was when the fifth movie came out, I was finishing the, finished reading the seventh book. I love those a lot, but my little brother, he was born when, I think, the fourth, when the third movie came out, around that point, and, yeah, by the time he was uh, old enough to actually see them, 
the last ones came out. So he's starting to slowly see them now. I think he just finished watching the fourth movie today. So, uh, yeah, I read my chapter of that. And what I'm going to do now is, if I can put this up, continue reading this. The Hunger Games. Second movie was so good that um, I just wanted to see what happened next. I couldn't wait. Although Hollywood are doing two parts out of the third movie, which roll us music again. Or sound effect, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, um, uh, the book is okay so far from what I'm just going to say. But anyway, yeah, I'm actually going to stop this vlog right now, call it uh, at the end of the day pretty much. I'm just going to read some of that book, then go to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog, and let me know what you think of it. If you want me to upload these more regularly, let me know, and I'll definitely try and do so. So thanks again very much for watching, guys, and I'll see all of you next time. Take care.